I am Natasha Jackson Bronkhorst and I'm a post harvest extension manager for the south parts of South Africa. I work for the CRI. Today I'll be talking about the false codling moth risk management system, also known as the FMS on the fight clean. Okay, let's talk about the packhouse delivery inspection. The packhouse needs to be registered to export fruit to the EU. This means that the packhouse will comply with the FMS protocol and it will read valid data into FightClean. The packhouse is responsible to train packhouse personnel on how to do the FMS packhouse delivery inspection. Training records of packhouse personnel responsible for the packhouse delivery inspection needs to be available for possible inspections or auditing from Department of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development. A fruit must be recorded as infested when a live FCM or fruit fly larva is found in the fruit. The sample of the fruit is 800 to 2800, depending on the desired or qualified shipping conditions. The fruit sample must be selected randomly without looking for infested fruit. All fruit with suspicious marks that could possibly be indicative of FCM or fruit fly penetration and all fruit injuries that could have facilitated easier penetration of FCM or fruit fly should be inspected closely. This includes all navels that has a navel split end. No matter how small the navel split end, you should still inspect the fruit closely. Fruit with no observable external damage does not need further inspection. The procedure for fruit inspection is the following. Take the fruit and a magnification glass and inspect the fruit for any possible entries of FCM or fruit fly. All fruit found with suspicious marks should be cut in thin slivers to find even the smallest penetration of any fruit fly or false codling moth larva. Continue cutting into the fruit until you have confirmation of infestation or no infestation in the fruit itself. This procedure must be followed for all the fruit that you found in your sample with suspicious marks. Thereafter, the fruit must be cut into quarters to find if there's any infestation inside the fruit. If any such signs are found, that quarter must be cut up even more to see if there's any infestation of fruit fly or false codling moth inside that quarter. After the packhouse delivery inspection has been completed, record and submit the data into FightClean. This includes all navels with the split navel in or any suspicious marks that could be indicative of any FCM or fruit fly infestation. Another sign of infestation of fruit fly or false codling moth is when you find an orange that has a very bright orange color and it's actually still green and not yet ready to be harvested. Even a small mark like this could be a place where fruit fly or false codling moth penetrated the fruit rind. That's why we need magnification glasses. If there are any signs of infestation of fruit fly or false codling moth, you have to cut the fruit rind in thin slithers. It does look like there is some infestation, but we might have to cut in a little deeper to find or to be sure that there definitely is something under the skin. Careful not to cut the lava. Remember you have to find a live FCM or fruit fly to register it as infested. Here we have a fruit that has been infested by fruit fly or false codling moths. So we cut it into thin slithers. There definitely is something there or if this fruit was picked up from the ground, the larva might have gone back into the soil waiting for the next cycle. Nothing found in this fruit. This means it might have gone back into the soil. If you find that there's no sign of infestation, but you did have signs on the fruit rind, and you cut the fruit into further quarters to make double sure that there's nothing inside. Always lift up the slithers to make sure that there's nothing underneath the piece that you've just cut.
cut the fruit into quarters for further inspection. Make sure that there's no lava inside the fruit. Use your magnification glass just to make sure. Once you have found some lava inside your fruit, be sure to correctly identify this lava. Fruit fly, vinegar fly, false codling moth and carob moth all have similar traits. So send some samples of these lava to your local laboratory or to CRI laboratory in Stellenbosch or Nelspreet for identification if needed. This is why it is very crucial that the packhouse delivery inspection personnel must be trained to do this packhouse delivery inspection. They need to be able to identify these pests inside the fruit. If there are any inquiries, please contact your local extension manager. Thank you.